The first thing I want you to take away from today is this. You will have good days and you'll have bad days. But you will always learn something more or something new. And you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. You will learn more about yourself. You'll learn more about relationships. You'll learn about life and principles. And it'll build your character. If you're a person who wants, let's say, improve on your character of patience, let's say, don't complain when you're waiting in a line. You ain't going to grow in patience until you put in a place to wait. It's like you go into a gym and, you know, you're walking through the front doors and, you know, you tell your wife or your husband, I'm going to the gym. You go into the gym and you come in three feet and you do a U-turn and you ride out. I went to the gym. Ain't going to do nothing. You got to go in there. What are you going to do? You got to pick up the weights and you exercise the muscles that you want to build. I stand before you without arms and legs, but a very strong man because of the bad days of my life. You know how it is. If you didn't go what you've gone through, you wouldn't be who you are today. And I'm not belittling your pain. And don't worry, I've seen pain in my life. And I've seen not only in my life, but people's lives. And people say, well, at least I have no arms, no legs. And then what am I supposed to say? Well, at least I'm not an African orphan who's dying at four years old. And I met that person. What about the 10 year old girl that was bought for 700 US dollars in Mumbai and kidnapped as a sex slave to have 350 clients before the age of 13, pregnant at 12, put the baby under the bed while she works on top, abandoned by her family. After she pays her debt of 700 US dollars after three years with her child, she leaves on the streets of Mumbai hoping for a new life. No family, no job, no food. Her baby needs food. She gets raped, beaten up on the street. She comes back to the only way that she knows how to make money. She goes back to the brothels. She gets pregnant at 15 the the second time and then that child dies. And then 20 years old, she comes up to me. Yes, I have met this woman. She comes up crying. She says, Nick, I just found out I've got HIV AIDS. And I got fined for being a prostitute. What do you say to that? You may have arms and legs, but unless you know three things. Number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? If you don't know the answers of any of those three questions, you're more disabled.